this uh, little beast I've been using. Lovely little colour. Yes. Come on. Just watch out because you'll squirt ink. There you go. Yeah, it's good to eat though. Very good to eat. Huh? What a squid. Oh, nice. Oh, don't bite, mate. Don't worry. <laughs> Watch out, 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 watch out. Big one, big one. Oh. This is a big one. <laughs> Let it go, let it rest. You can have these, man, if you want. Oh, hold on. Check out these puppies. Red, yellow, kind of changes colour. But for me, the key, especially where there's a light around the harbour, is a little flash plate inside 
for me just gives it that little bit more groove you know a little bit more shine a little bit more attractant little DTD that goes on top little weight on top about 10 gram this one's got a rattle in it one sits above the other fuck mate windy Hopefully there's some absolute beasts around. Hey. Differently to when I'm uh, fishing out in uh, Tasmania, I was literally casting that lure out, as you can see, just slowly letting it sink, putting the rod down. Always put your rod down. Sometimes the squid can be, well, they're very inquisitive anyway, but sometimes they just prefer something to look totally natural you know it can be the difference between catching a squid and not catching a squid there's a huge snipe over there he's a giant snipe snipe have been quite present up on the uh, north coasts recently they going back to the squid in as in Tasmania where I was just letting the lure just sink slowly. Making it look as natural as possible. Here, I go two ways about it. If it's not windy and usually the squid are around, I just like that free falling technique. But at the, moon, moment, <laughs> at the moment, at the moment where it's been really difficult and the squid are on and off, and when they're on, they're not even on in their numbers. I've gone for a basically like a pat oh just got a knock there maybe a snipe i go for kind of like a paternoster just on a leader uh one with a 10 gram jig head on the top one and then the bottom one can still do that that kind of fall in motion i also like to use a jig uh, a jig with a rattle in it like you would with a soft plastic sometimes this has actually got one built in comes with it but yeah, the DTD, the white DTT with the rattle can sometimes really do the damage as well. Slowly just giving it a little flick here and there. Not that erratic, but just reel up and bring it in slowly. Good squid, mate. Oh, mate, this is. Please don't fall off. He's a nice squid. Come on. Oh, Benny, come here so I can just get a picture. for a long time. I'm trying not to get the line but Yeah, hands. there you go, mate. What's that? You can see it, anyway. Yeah. Perfect, that'll do. Just get us a picture as well. So Just put that on the floor. There we go. Never mind. The business end, mate. The business end of a squid. <laughs> that sound, mate. At least I got a squiddy. Fucking stoked with that. Oh, is that a squid there? That looked like a squid, it looked fatter. Look, there's a squid there. 100% there was a squid just down there. Oh yes! Oh yes, got another one. 
Oh yes. I love it when they give that like proper pull. Yeah. Oh yes, he's off. Oh. Did you see that proper cloud he gave there? Really? Oh, he's a good one. Oh yes, two in a row. I can't believe it. Oi, he's, a, he's an absolute giant.